I have to admit. Spray cans? I hate it. And putting it on a motorcycle? It's really useless. The paint you get out of them, really thin layer you get on and uh, it's barely scratch resistant. If you uh, get some oil or petrol on it, it will destroy it totally. So not very durable and uh, not really cheap either. Uh, it doesn't cost much for a box, but uh, what you get here, one deciliter of paint or something, the rest of it is just gas for pushing the paint out of the box. Uh, there is one exception though, you can uh, mix up proper paint and you have this actuator in the bottom so we have a small chamber of hardener. That is a completely different uh, type of paint. But uh, yeah, this uh, you can buy on uh, any hardware store. Don't use it like on your bike build. So why do I use spray paint? Well, I'm just doing some touch up. Uh, I have these uh, tabs here that was uh, very rusty and uh, I put on a coat of primer first and then painted with this. And the front fender, the paint was starting to flake off there. It has been uh, repainted uh, at some point of time, this bike, and uh, probably done a poor job on uh, priming and sanding down the front fender. So it was uh, shiny underneath and the paint started to peel off. So yeah, better than nothing. Absolutely, doing some touch-up, minor jobs, and uh, yeah, I will not be using spray paint when I'm doing properly uh, repairs or improvements to this bike, like I need to do with this subframe. It's really rusty and ugly, and uh, I took it off here as part uh, of a job that just escalated. I was going to change the indicators, I had to take off the fender and do some modifications. And then I saw how bad this one was. So I think I will sandblast wherever it's rust, prime it using epoxy primer and proper 2K paint on it. And uh, it's not really expensive. You need to have an air compressor to do this kind of job. I have bought a cheap paint gun from eBay. 20, 25 dollars was the price. It's a small one. I will test it now for the first time, see if it works. But uh, first, cleaning and uh, trying to get rid of the rust. I have a confession to make, and I think this is uh, the time to discuss it. Uh, by the way, you can see me here taking the subframe apart, degreasing it and washing it. And I know it's quite boring stuff, but uh, it uh, needs to be done. Because uh, sandblasting on uh, dirty, uh, oily, greasy metal doesn't really work that well. The sand just have a tendency to stick to, to oily, greasy stuff, so it's best to have a uh, it as clean as possible before you can start sandblasting. Also, you can reuse the sand if it doesn't get too dirty. But while I'm doing this job, I started by uh, saying that these are no good spray cans and I hate them. But I don't really have any proof for it, do I? It's just my experience, what I think, and that's not good enough. I need to prove it to you that I'm right or I need to prove to myself that I'm wrong. I have bought this two brand new uh, proper car paint spray cans, primer for adhesion to metal and rust protection. And this is uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, Zwarz black color. It's the same as I'm gonna have on my subframe. I know it's, it's white now, but it's not really visible, so I will just paint it black. And I'd use uh, a Glacerit 2K proper car paint and also epoxy paint, 2K that as well, on the subframe. And what I will be doing is to paint a piece of metal as well. And also with this spray can. And then I can compare these two. Is the spray can as good as the proper 2K car paint? And the way to test this is to use this um, scratch tester. 
It works uh, like this. You can uh, open and take off this. It can be adjusted from zero pressure to eight uh, in, uh, in a level or from 80 grams to 1.7 kilos pressure on this small needle. It's spring loaded here at the bottom. It's not like razor sharp. It is a metal uh, tip here, like a pen, tip of the pen. And when I turn this and uh, put pressure on the spring inside here, it will get uh, harder and harder. And uh, let me show you on a piece of paper how it works. So at uh, level zero, it's barely making an impact on the paper. Not sure how good you can see this, but you can see the last one almost cut a hole in the paper. Even scratch to uh, the next paper. And here you can barely see it. It will be interesting to see if I'm wrong in my assumptions or if I'm right in my assumptions. But before I can do the scratch test, I need to be done with all the painting. And first of all, yeah, it seems like I'm done with the washing now, so then it's uh, sandblasting. The subframe is uh, sandblasted and as you noticed I used my grinder first just to speed up the process. I also sandblasted this small bracket that's supposed to be attached to the subframe. Luckily I didn't forget it. Anyway, here is the paint gun and here are the, all the stuff I need. Uh, the paint, the epoxy, protection gear, I will be using acetone to clean. Yeah. I won't go into the details on how to paint, I'll just show this cute little paint gun and compare it to a regular one. This is more expensive and I'm really happy with this one. But um, I think now this is pretty small part and since I bought this uh, small one I think uh, this might be a suitable time to test it out. So where is the subframe? I put it in my painting uh, booth and uh, let me show you. I'll use my cell phone here because uh, I need a wide angle lens. As you can see, I have uh, put plastic inside of my garage and uh, I have some kind of door here. And this, of course, is to not get paint dust all over my walls uh, and all the stuff I have in my garage. So I'm now hanging this uh, subframe from the ceiling with some uh, wires and uh, also I had to weld on a new nut here because it was uh, destroyed, the threads didn't work anymore. So yeah. Okay, I better get out of here. Better get uh, started with the uh, painting.
isn't this just a piece of art? I know, it's just some uh, metal pipes welded together with some brackets on. Anyway, for me, it's like art. Really happy with the result, and I must say, this small paint gun worked flawlessly. An additional benefit was uh, because of its small size, it was easy to get in between here to get into all of the small places. But let's get into the test. I have prepared the test subjects here. Can you guess what is what? Sure you can. Spray can, paint gun. You can see how much more shiny this is. You can see the reflection from my ceiling light. This got much more hazy. The result didn't uh, end up too good. Not sure why it didn't end up glossy. Maybe it was too cold. And you can even see scratches through here. Even though this one has two layers more. This one has four layers of paint and two layers of uh, primer. While this one has two layers of paint and two layers of uh, epoxy primer. I went over with a small amount of polish to get away all the debris to easier see the scratch. And the result is a bit surprising. It seems like the spray can is both harder and weaker. Let me explain. I can see no visible scratches on 0, 2, 4 or 6. It's like it hasn't made a scratch at all. Well, maybe barely on 6. But on 8 it seems to go straight through the metal. So it's like a very hard surface, but when you first break it, it's uh, yeah, doing a lot of impact. While on the Glycerit car paint, it has more like gradually made scratches from... Uh, I can barely see it at 2, but on 4, 6 and 8 the scratches are deeper and deeper. But they haven't gone that deep into the paint. This isn't that scientifically a test, so maybe I'll do a proper stress test. No, I am at level 7. Let's really scuff this up. Spray can. 2K paint. Let me try at the level 6. Five. As you can see, almost no impact. Hmm. This makes it uh, quite hard to conclude. At least the spray can paint isn't that bad as I thought it was. It holds up pretty well. And uh, in some uh, circumstances it's even harder than the car paint. But when you really apply a lot of force, then the car paint seems to be more durable, but it's probably also thicker. So let me try to measure the thickness. Remember, this has six layers and this has only four layers. It is pretty safe to say that the spray can leaves pretty thin layers of paint. Normally when I paint bodywork I use two layers of primer and three layers of paint. If I were to get the same thickness of the final product I would need 13 layers from spray cans. So that would mean a lot of spray cans needed to be used and uh, it will take a long time as well. It takes some time with the spray cans compared to a spray gun. So yeah, you will actually save some time using a spray gun. But of course it takes longer time to set up the 
spray gun with uh, and mixing the paint with hardener and also cleaning the gun uh, when you're done with it. Anyway, final test. I will test some chemicals. I will put on a drop of oil, a drop of gasoline. It uh, evaporates quite quickly. I'm not sure how good uh, that test will be. And finally some brake fluid. And the brake fluid is probably the most dangerous stuff here. Okay, I'll wait one hour and uh, then clean it off and let's see how the paint can cope with this. I think it's best that you don't spill brake fluid on your spray can paint. And maybe not be using this kind of uh, paint on your rims, on your motorcycle. Uh, it doesn't seem to cope with the brake fluid and uh, you might spill a drop or two if you're going to service the brake sometime. So by, by using 2K paint, no problem. So what is my conclusion? And by the way, if you want me to test something else, have any questions, suggestions, please drop a comment. Uh, my conclusion is that spray can paint is much better than I thought. And it might not be useless anyway, as I thought in the beginning of this video. So I think I have to reevaluate my feelings there. Although I think 2K Paint is much better in all the areas I've tested. If you don't agree with me, you know what to do. Drop a comment. I'm really happy I use 2K paint and especially epoxy primer to get good adhesion and rust protection for my subframe. And uh, in my next video, I will be putting it on my bike. It's a really rare bike, the Kagiwa 750 Elephant. And if you want to see how it uh, looks with the new uh, frame, check out my next video. Hope to see you back. Bye bye.